Hello everyone, this is Pijas Salam from PS Media with another video on Elementor PS Builder for WordPress. And in this video, I will show you how to design a pricing table in uh, Elementor Free Burden. This is for Elementor Free Burden. In the Pro Burden, there is a pricing table element or widget in the Pro Burden. However, in uh, Free Burden, there is no pricing table widget. So, but how, uh, but you don't need to discourage you can design a nice pricing table with the available free elements in this pricing table i use this is heading element this is heading element and this is text element and this is button element in this uh, pricing table i use heading text element and button element only only using three elements i can design this uh, pricing table and you can do by the end of the this video you can do now let's get to the point here let's create a new section a new say a new one um, and let's say pricing or pricing or whatever uh, you uh, you want to name say our pricing let's say x x okay this is fine and now let's add column widget here and if you uh, how many pricing table you want to have on uh, your section to there uh, usually uh, most of the pricing plans are only three available most of the in most of the plans there are only three tables let's say plan one part two plan three so i will show you for designing only three tables three plans one two three column number three so and go to the section setting of this column with the uh, widget and column gap no gap put the column gap no gap i will i will tell you why you need column gap no gap and put the heading element yeah let's say plan one and go to style uh, advance uh, and go to advance background let's add background let's say green okay and to the uh, go back to element style of the advanced setting uncheck the link bill uh, link below and let's top 20 bottom 20 now we have a nice what to color change to white okay now this is plan one now let's add the price another heading element let's say 49 dollar okay align center extra large extra large okay you can change the color to you know, okay now the pieces insert text element let's say picture one when you enter for the next line next line don't uh, don't forget to click on the ship and enter ship plus enter Picture two, ship plus enter. Picture, picture three, ship plus enter. Picture four, picture five. Okay, now go to the style align center here yeah, like this. You can increase the font size. Let's say eighteen. Okay. Now insert the button here yeah, like this. Align center. Contact me or buy now. Buy now. Uh, let's let's do the adjective. Buy now. Insert the icon. Cart icon. Cart. Take it now. Buy now. Let's change the color. Background color green, yeah, like this. Shame now go to the column setting. Column 
add some border solid let's say to picture color green uh, let's view it now we have a pricing table here and it, uh, it's a uh, close of uh, there is no margin so let's add some basic go to the advanced setting of the column and uncheck the padding link below bottom let's say 30 or 20 30 okay now we have some space here margin here white space here now it looks good yeah now we can duplicate this duplicate duplicate and delete the blank columns now log. now we have three pricing tables and we need some gap between them so let's go to the column advance margin uncheck the value right side let's say 20 and go to this column advance and check right side 10 left side 10 okay and go to this one and do uncheck value left side 20 here now we have our pricing table let's say in customize let's say plan two and you can change the color too and this is plan three let's change the color heading element advanced background change to let's say blue okay copy and let's go to column border color let's say blue and go to button let's say color blue and for this two and blue now and let's do the same for this pressing the plan three start advance background and border let's change the color uh, let's use this one okay and for this two now and button okay and go to the column border color so the same color if you if you, you use another other than this column palette other color uh, not uh, from this column palette, color palette uh, then you have to copy the hex code let's say for this one let's say uh, i use this color let's use this color and you have to copy this color hex code and use on uh, other elements yeah, like this in this heading background so, and paste the hex code here like this do the same you have to do like this copy um, copy paste the copy the code like this now we have some nice pricing table and uh, to look nice between the tables and this uh, our pricing heading you can add some space to do that uh, you can use spacer but i don't recommend using spacer because it doesn't look good in mobile devices so uh, use padding instead of spacing go to the advanced and uncheck the value let's say top 20 bottom 20 yeah like this so i hope you are following through this video and if you have any questions please uh, don't hesitate to leave a comment below uh, or initiate a live chat on my website psmedia.org and thanks for watching if you have not subscribed my youtube channel please do subscribe